girl's walk to school takes an unexpected and frightening turn. Now police in two cities are investigating an attempted abduction. Police in both Detroit and Highland Park are keeping a close eye on this area. Open Boulevard near Hamilton. It's on the border between both cities, and this is where an 11 year old girl was almost abducted this morning on her way to school. Local force Nick Monticelli is joining us live now. And Nick, do, do police have any idea who they're looking for? They've got a very brief description of Rod, a heavy set, a heavy set black male wearing a kind of a mask and a blue beanie cap. So if you know anybody or anything that matched that description, call the police department. In the meantime, this 11 year old girl was walking along the sidewalk here on the street behind me at Oakland Boulevard when this suspect, this attacker, jumped out from behind the fence in the bushes there and grabbed her arm. Fortunately, she was able to get away and then she ran right back home. They were all at the door crying and she said somebody grabbed her. Nikisha Gaston has sent her kids off to school for years. Today, maybe the day that ends. I'm a ball of emotions right now because I was crying because she was crying and I'm mad because somebody tried to grab my baby and I'm scared because they walk this way every day they walk this way. Her daughter and 11 year old left for school around 645 this morning. Her two siblings walked out the door maybe 30 seconds ahead of her. They were still walking, so I thought I'd catch up to them. We're not showing the girl's face just in case this attacker comes back, but the gap between her siblings and herself gave the suspect an opportunity. But the guy reached out in the bushes and grabbed me like this, and he wouldn't let go until a man came from around the corner with his daughter to take her to school. And he had let go. He had some under, some, some under his breath before he had let go. By and hear him. The suspect was hiding outside of this abandoned building on Oakman Boulevard in Highland Park, but it's right on the Detroit city border. So both departments responded here and Detroit will likely help Highland Park if needed. We're going to step up our patrol efforts in this area. Uh, we're going to go to the schools and let them know to be on the lookout for, uh, you know, stranger danger and uh, let them know that we're going to be there for them. And we have seen those increased patrols out here this morning into this afternoon, and they will say they will continue this as long as necessary. They will be doing a lot of uh, communication with the schools as that police chief mentioned. But in the meantime, again, if you were in this area around 645 this morning and saw something strange or unusual or might happen to know, even with that brief description, who this person might be who attacked this 11 year old girl, please call the Highland Park Police Department or Crime Stoppers. That number is 1-800-SPEAK-UP. We are live in Highland Park. Nick Monticelli, Local 4. Yeah, and Nick, hopefully somebody comes forward with that information. Uh, there are some parents who don't really have a choice. Their children must walk to school. Are police uh, providing any advice for parents today? You know, they always say keep your children uh, walking in groups or pairs or, or, or at least some kind of numbers or strength in numbers. In this case, those strength in numbers did exist. Unfortunately, as this girl talked, she kind of got separated from her siblings just a little bit, but that little bit was just enough to give this attacker that opportunity. So parents, at least talk to your kids. If they're walking together, they need to stay together, very close together. Yeah, there is safety in numbers. Nick, thank you.